you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for being here tonight and showing an interest in this, uh, in this contest. I think that there are some fundamental questions that I hope people will take a look at as we approach October 27th. Who has the experience in actually delivering results? I don't think that's going to come from a career politician. Who, which candidate can work best with both the Stephen Harper Conservative Majority Government in Ottawa and, and the Kathleen Wynne Liberal Majority Government in Ottawa because we need those governments to get things done? Who is going to be best at attracting oh, jobs and investment? Who's going to know how those decisions are made and why they're made and be able to go out and get people from around the world to come and invest here? Whose transit plan is going to provide the fastest relief to the most people in the shortest period of time on a most cost-effective basis? Ladies and gentlemen, I am all about hope on jobs and on traffic and bringing the city together, one city for the first time since amalgamation, as great as we can be, and a mayor that you can be proud of. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Jordan. Turn since. Thank you, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here tonight, and I want to also give a special thanks to my family who came out to support me tonight in this debate, and everyone else who made time. Thank you. It is an important election. We all know that, don't we? And people ask me what the ballot question is, and the ballot question is the same as it is every election. Who do you trust? Now, some of you will trust Rob Ford, and that's fine. You know, that's fine. I trusted Rob. I did. I did. For the first two years, I thought we were on the right track. But we lost our way. And some of you here tonight trust Olivia Chow, right? I hear you in the crowd. And I do, actually, because she does have experience in government, in NDP government, I do trust Olivia Chow to deliver the rest of the Miller agenda. Spindy. What I don't trust, and what you shouldn't trust, is sending someone to be your mayor who has no experience at City Hall. We have two years that have been very damaging to this city. We cannot afford four more. Please elect Karen Stintz for mayor. I have a track record. You can trust Thank me you. to make you proud. Thank, Thank you. David Sutton. Thank you very much. I had so much fun on LRT during my opening remarks. I think I'm going to stay away from that on, on, on these closing remarks. So ladies and gentlemen, first of all, thank you very much for joining us uh, this evening. Uh, I hope you got as much out of this and uh, are finding out exactly which candidate is going to be your leader and is going to bring forward the ideas that you want after October. Ladies and gentlemen, I have had three terms as councillor. I have been chair of the budget committee and you've heard some of the ideas that I brought forward, not only with respect to transit, but reforming the uh, business taxes, the land transfer tax, I'm the only one that will be looking at the police and the emergency services budgets. And where are we going to put the money? We're going to put the money where we want to. We're going to put the money in affordable housing, in cycling, in parks. I'm the only one to put forward a position paper on governance to make sure that we are not only a civil, but a productive council. All of these are ideas that I think you want, I think we need in the future. I ask for your support on October 27th. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Folks, on October 27th, it's your tax dollars. Who do you trust with your tax dollars, folks? I've got a proven record. I've listed it numerous times. Our credit rating is very, very strong compared to the provincial government. There's no more strikes. Remember the chaos four years ago? We have a 1.5% property tax increase. Lower than any municipality in North America. The proof's in the pudding. I said I was going to save money and customer service. I said I was going to return every call. I return every call, folks. You know I do. So the others can talk about it. I've been at this 14 years. I have saved the taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars. I'm the only one that's going to be honest with building subways. The others. Talk a good story, it's going to be LRTs, you know it. Why don't they just come out and say it? Thank you very much. I love you, Scarborough. Thank you for being here tonight. Well, folks, Rob Ford is a terrible role model for our church. doesn't have any municipal experience, he can't get anything done. We need change. We need a new mayor. And I want to be our new mayor. And I will 
create jobs for young people. We will expand after school activities for our kids. I will get people moving faster right now by expanding the bus service. I love this city. I have the experience. I have the track record. We do need change, and I ask for your support on October 27th. I can you there. Thank you very, very much. And Ms. Chow, that brings us to the end of our debate. Uh, I'd just like to thank again our five candidates for uh, being with us here tonight, and thank the Canadian Town Congress for organizing the events and inviting me to moderate, uh, and everyone here for coming out to listen. Uh, I believe we have some closing remarks from the podium. Thank you to each and every one of you for attending this evening to watch this great part of democracy at work. As President of the Canadian Town Congress, I would like to extend 